Yo, what's up everybody? It's your man, Tim Swain. And today I'm bringing you an extremely important message and I need your help. On January the 20th, a truck filled with explosives on its way to a gold mine in the Western region of Ghana collided with a motorist, detonating the truck, obliterating almost the entire town in that particular region, killing nearly two dozen, injuring and displacing several hundred others. And to this day, the people are working around the clock to ensure that the people get the resources that they need and while the government and other agencies are trying to find who's at blame and trying to assess all this stuff i believe that this is an opportunity to show up and to ensure that we can be a light in this time of darkness so what am i asking you to do number one i'm asking you to tag your favorite ghana youtubers your favorite ghana influencers in this video I want us as a creative content creation community to show up and really use our platforms of influence to help these people in need. So all of your people, I'm not calling any names, but you know those people, all the people that profess their love for Ghana, they show you the reels and the videos about the sunny beaches and the nightclubs, challenge them to show up in this moment of tragedy and darkness. The second thing I want you to do is use the hashtag support Ghana victims. You make a post, you read, um, you know, you reshare this video, whatever it is, make a post and use the hashtag support Ghana victims. And last but not least, I'm going to challenge you to donate. There's a campaign that's out right now uh, that's collecting monies that will be used specifically for the victims and those that are working on the front lines of this tragedy. And I'm guaranteeing 100 percent transparency about how these funds are used. So once again, let's show up. Let's make sure that we can be a light in times of darkness. And I leave you with the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, not just a civil rights activist for people in the United States, but for people all around the world. He said that an uh, individual has not started living until he can rise above the individualistic concerns of his society to the greater needs of our society. Let's show up. Let's challenge each other as a creative community. Let's make sure that we can profess the love for Ghana, not just in words, but also in deeds. Peace.